Hi everyone. In the last video I was showing you that I was installing the first Arduino board and in this video I'll be installing the servo into the chest, 3D printing the threaded piston that runs up the neck and attaching it to the neck here with a bolt through here. We should then be able to get the neck servos connected up and hopefully we'll start to see the head move. So the servo I'm trying to use is the Hobby King 15338 and it seems like it's a little bit too tight to fit in this servo holster. So the other issue I'm having is the, the cable has to go down that slot which means I can't push the servo straight down so it will have to go in at an angle means there's no way it will it will fit in there so the only thing I can think of is to chamfer this edge off here to allow it to sort of drop in okay I finally got the servo to fit it did do quite a bit of filing in there I also attacked it with the Dremel saved a bit of time but that was really tight now when I printed this part I made a mistake because I printed it with support material but I accidentally set the support material to be 100% infill so it's basically solid support material inside the four holes which is not really a problem I just have to drill them out. Okay so that's the servo fitted in four screws and that tips up like that just has a little bit of movement on it the cable I've taken out through the side and then up through the back so I'll have to connect that up to the board at some point next job is to print the neck piston okay so I've got all the parts together ready to start assembling the neck Starting at this end we've got the servo horn, the neck piston, the neck piston base, an M8 bolt, an M8 lock nut with two plastic caps and finally the neck hinge. So the main part is the neck piston, um, it consists of two pieces, this um, twisted uh, section and then the base which is it has a twisted thread inside it's a bit difficult to see that and then this piece goes on top and it rotates as it goes down or up This is the same concept as how the jaw works and I had a lot of trouble with the with the jaw piston uh, not fitting inside the thread. Um, somebody on one of the forums suggested to scale this part but only on the X and Y axis and not the Z axis which is the, the vertical axis. So the pitch of the thread stays the same but we scale the part down so the thickness of the um, bar is, is slightly thinner. I scaled one at 0 0.9 but that seemed too small and wouldn't twist inside so I redid this one at a scale of 0 0.95 and it seems to thick, fit quite well. I'm quite pleased with how that's turned out. Obviously we'll put some grease inside this should make it a bit smoother but it is running quite smooth as it is. Because I scaled the part, that would have changed the pitch of the holes, so they may no longer line up with the holes in the servo horn. However, looking at it, they seem like they will line up, so I shouldn't have any problems there. I just need to screw that on. I'll just check that the holes do line up and the screws fit. I'll probably fit them and then remove them again, because we need to 
attach this servo horn to the servo first and then attach this on top. Okay, so I'm using um, number number four screws, self-tapping screws. Um, these are three quarter inch in length. They really should be half an inch, but I don't have any. Um, I want them to tap into the servo horn so that they grip into that. But I don't want them gripping in the piston base. I want these as clearance holes. So I'm drilling these out to three millimeters. So there's the servo horn fitted. Uh, this screw comes with the servo. Next step is to attach the piston. Now I removed the neck hinge so I could paint it black. And whilst I've got this head apart, I've made sure I've routed all four of the servo cables through the centre of the, the neck gear. I believe that's the only way of getting them to go down through the neck. I'm hoping that's going to work out. Next step is to reattach the neck hinge. Okay, so I've just connected up my extension cables and thread them down through the neck, out the bottom of the neck down here. It would have been a good idea to label them up, but I can. There's only four. I can figure them out through trial and error, which one's which. Okay, the head's reattached. Uh, pretty dark in here, but uh, just need to put the bolt through here. This bolt is uh, 30 millimeters. This is actually too short. It will work, but it could really do with being 35 millimeters. If you were, if you want to order yourself some of these, I would order 35 millimeters. So there's a view down inside the neck with this bolt I was just showing you fitted. I quite like these plastic caps. They cover up the nut and they also fit on the other side of the screw as well quite nicely just makes the whole thing look a bit tidier So I don't think these batteries on the back here are delivering enough power to drive the servo. So I think I'm going to have to get a bigger battery pack now. It seems to be working but it's struggling. I don't want to burn anything out so I'm going to turn it off for now. Well the neck's now fully assembled, um, I think I just need to get a bigger battery pack to drive these large servos and then I should have the head up and down movement and the head rotation working. Okay, that's it for now. Thanks for watching. Please leave comments below, and I'll see you next time.